Hi everyone! In this video, I'll show you the solution to the 2021 ANSI 1089 or 12A7. What's the least possible value of this expression here? X minus, XY minus 1 squared plus X plus Y squared. So the natural thing to do is just to expand, right? So you just expand to get X squared Y squared minus 2XY plus 1, right? Because we're just expanding this whole thing out. And plus X squared plus 2XY plus y squared. So you can see that minus 2xy, 2xy, they cancel. And this gives us, we're just left with x squared, y squared, plus x squared, plus y squared, plus 1. And you want to minimize this. So this is reminding you of anything. We have x squared terms, we have y squared terms, we have x squared and y squared terms, and we've got constant terms. You should think of time as favorite factoring terms. And if you didn't already see this, we can actually make the substitution of something equal to a squared, something equal to y squared, and then you'll probably see that this is just Simon's favorite factoring trick. This becomes x squared plus 1 times y squared plus 1. Right? And what's the minimum possible value of this? Well, the minimum possible value of this is just going to be equal to, well, notice that perfect squares are 0 or more. Remember, we talked about that property. It's called a trivial inequality. So if perfect squares are always 0 or more, what does that say about this expression here? This expression will have to be 1 or more. Because the minimum value of this expression is just going to be 1 times 1, which is 1. Because the minimum value of x squared is 0, minimum value of y squared is 0. If anything greater, which will result, result in the number being something great, bit greater than 1. So the minimum value of the expression is just simply 1. And that's the answer for this problem. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like the video and also subscribe to the channel to be notified about future math competition videos on this channel. Bye, everyone!